everyone, Flick here, back with you from Sleek Ballet Fitness, but today, there's no ballet. Today, I'm gonna to go through a sassy dance cardio workout with you that's gonna lift your heart rate, and if you stay with me right to the end, I'm gonna break down one movement that not only lifts and firms your booty, but gives you really long, strong, lean, lower body muscles, so stay with me for that. In case you didn't know, I trained as a ballet dancer, but I was in the West End doing lots and lots of musical theater work, working with incredible choreographers and dancing shows like Chicago and Shoes and at theatres including Sadler's Wells and more. So, trust me, I know what a sassy workout is. So when you're ready, join me. Okay, let's start by opening up through the shoulders and lifting the heart rate. We're going to rock side to side, just pressing the weight from one foot to the other. Hands onto your waist, this hand lifts to second. We're going to take the shoulder forward and back. Rock it forward. And that good. Getting into that rotation. Give me four more here. Four. Three. Two. Let's switch the arm. Hand to the waist. Here we go. We'll take it all back. Four. And back. Good. Just releasing any tension from the day. We're going to speed this up. We're going to get our heart much higher. But just give me four more here. Good. Three. Two. One. Let's switch it out. Here we go. Double time. Four. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, change hands. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do both arms now. We go. One. Four more. Second set. The seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step, full change. Wrap your hands around. Let's go back the other way. We go step, join the legs, and we switch those arms around. Again, step, join the legs, switch the arms around. One more time, step, switch the arms around. Let's go a little quicker. We go step, full change. Step, full change. Step, full change. Good, up and wrap. Again, four. Now jump. Two. Hold it here. Good, we're gonna lift the back toes up. Draw up to a tear ray, bring this opposite arm forward, and then step it back. Sweep the arm back, bring the other shoulder forward. Again, lift up. Pull the tummy in. Take it back. Let's speed this up. Give me eight, here we go. Let's move for eight, seven. Really pull the shoulders to me, and the knee square to your diagonal for four. Work from your tummy button to rotate the spine, now you're going to stay here. We're going to sit up and down into a parallel plie. Squeeze and release. Good, squeeze and release. Four, again. Three more. Two more. Last one, stay here, bring your arms in front of you. Take your bottom back, ripple. Ripple, good. Three, four, heart rate should be lifted. Back leg should be really feeling this in your thumb. Good. Two more for the top curls. Here we go. Let's move. Little jump. One more set. Forward and back. Four. Three. Let's step or change. Here we go. Step or change. Switch. Up and over. Now make the arms bigger. Up and over. Up and wrap. Four more. Three. Two to go. Last one. Slow it down. We're going to do in and twist. Take it back. Again. In, twist. Take it back. Let's speed it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, hands to your waist, draw it up and down. Two, three, four. You want to feel like that back knee wants to touch the floor underneath you, but it doesn't. Let's just hold it here, bring those arms in front of us. Ripple. Two, three, four. Give me four more. Watch that back foot, keep the heel off. Two, good. From the top, 
top, let's move. Four, three, two, one. Eight more. Four, three, two, hold it here, ripple. This time, both legs flat. Lift up the ceiling, bend your knees, roll forward. Straight up through those legs. Take it here. Roll up. Shoulders to your ears. Let's start side to side last time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ripple. Double timing. Roll up. Give you four rocks side to side. Four, three, two, one. Ripple. Good, roll up. And draw one leg across. To find your journey point, hand is down, hand to waist, draw the leg up. Take it off the floor. Pull the tongue in and sweep it into a bag. Change sides, draw the leg in and up. Find your balance. Hold it. Good. Sweep it down. Well done. Want to know how to do that ripple? Stay with me. Okay, so when you go back to practice that little five minute workout, you really want to make sure that you're doing all the movements completely correctly so that you're getting maximum benefits. So let's start. We're facing the corner and our back heel is nice and high. We brought the elbows together so that we're working the upper body at the same time. Now, the elbows are going to mirror the journey of your booty. So they brush past and your bottom goes back. Here's the important thing. The rib cage is forward here, the tailbone is back. But as we recover from the ripple, the rib cage needs to pull together. So imagine a clothes peg drawing your rib cage together. Now your tailbone points back down. You're lifting that booty. So you feel like by pulling up the back leg, it's like a spray painting glue onto your back leg. The bottom's going high and you're lifting your kneecap. Let's do that again, elbows together, small contraction. So tummy through to the spine, bottom goes back, arms go back, mirror, and everything joins at the same time. Try on the second side. So again, watch that back heel, we're working into the calf. Elbows together, contraction, so as if my tummy is being pulled to the back wall. Plie, roll, mirror that journey. Here is where we get stuck, ribs in, tailbone under. And again, squeeze back. And then as we finish that final ripple, you really squeeze and engage into that glute. It feels like it's lifting high on a shelf. That's going to give you that beautiful, firm, lifted, peachy bottom. Very dancer-like. Okay, if you would like a full 30-minute sassy class, come and join us at Sleep Ballet Fitness. There's a free seven-day trial, so you'll get it for free. Worth a try. Meanwhile, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon.